everyone, it's Kim and welcome to my video today where I'm making a 12 by 12 process video using Serenity for 49 and Market. For the background, I am using the Peaceful Notions pattern paper. I love the doily on this and I am now using the stitched washi tape to create a grid pattern on this pattern paper. Now, I am going off center here. So the grid itself is more to the top left corner because when I put the photos on them, on the grid, I'm actually going to overlap that top photo between two of the squares. Um, I just thought it was more interesting. So I have two photos of myself and my son. We take selfies wherever we go out together and um, we had a lovely duck pout going on in one of these. It's lots of good fun. Um, I love that I have that relationship with my son and I'm using some of these gorgeous big um, rub-ons. So the big rub-on words in the 12 by 12 sheet in to do the title for this layout and I've selected the U and I'm just rubbing that on in the top right quadrant there. Um, and these rub-ons are beautiful. I'm just peeling the the protective paper off slowly and checking that everything has adhered down properly. Uh, which it has, and there we go. Um, a couple of little dots that hadn't rubbed off, distressed dots that hadn't rubbed off, I just put it on in a different spot. And then I actually cut the word love from another phrase in that rub-on sheet and have used it to create the title Love You. <clears throat> um, the photos I have framed too, so they um, they are a little chipboard frame, and they come with lots of different sizes in the pack. Um, and I really like those um, to give your photos a little bit more dimension and attention. So in this bottom left corner, I am using a little scrap of paper that I had left over from another project. Um, it's also from the Serenity collection. Um, and it is the brief glimpse paper. And then I'm adding some rub-ons from the six by eight pack of rub-ons and these are just some of the background distress grungy type rub-ons and the brown colors are going to balance out the brown in the title um and now i'm going to get ready to attach these everything like the base layer down and so just some wet glue i use art glitter glue which is my wet glue of choice um and it will stick these down no problems at all um, the frames may come off and a little bit of glue behind them can help attach them to your photos too so if you have any difficulties just put a little bit of glue on and with the adhesive that's already on the frame that'll work well I'm just putting some foam behind the little scrap of that brief glimpse pattern paper and this is the b side of that pattern paper just so that it sits up at the same level as the photographs um, so it's torn on three sides with, with the straight side I have um, put against the edge of the grid. Now I'm some, using some of the Serenity chipboard pieces. I have that word memory, the little blue butterflies, which I think look really cute next to that memory word and next to the title. And now I'm putting another blue butterfly in the frame, a circle frame, which is also from the chipboard, and a couple of little chipboard phrases down here on this um, scrap of paper. I like the three butterflies. I think they draw your eye really well around the design. Um, a grid design is something, um, is a really easy composition to use. Um, and I would recommend that if you haven't done a grid style layout that you have a go at this. As you see, you don't have to keep everything within the grids, but it's a great foundation for a layout. And as I say, if you haven't done it before, it's something different for you to try. It makes it easy to work out where to place various elements within the layout. Um, now I am going to um, add, ooh, what am I going to add? I think I'm going to add a, oh yes, I'm going to add some of the laser cuts now. So love the laser cuts in all the 49 Market collections. This is like a bluey grey rose. And I thought it just needed something next to that photo because the title above it is quite wide with the with the leaves coming off the side of it so I think that the rose balances that and you'll remember when we made when I made the grid it is more 
um, to the top left. And so I do have more space on the right side of the layout. And I really just like um, what the rose adds there. And now I'm going to use a phrase from the laser cuts and I'm going to stick that across the bottom of that second photo. Um, I am going to use a little bit of um, narrow foam tape across the back of this so that it just sits up a bit from the photo and pop that across the bottom there. And then the final thing I'm going to do is use some of my rub-ons and just, these are from the six by eight pack again. So there's a little phrase and I'm going to rub that on next to that top photo. So it's just a, another little word phrase. Um, I love words on my scrapbooking layouts. And so just rub that on there. And then that I believe is everything. Oh, just got to stick down this chipboard heart. So that's a little brown chipboard heart there. So you can see the browns are balanced and the blues are very balanced on the page as well. Um, and I think it has all come together really well. Oh, am I going to possibly add something else? Oh, yes. Sorry, I am going to add some little buttons. So these also come out of the laser cuts. Um, super cute little buttons. I did spend a bit of time thinking about where I was going to put these. I knew I wanted to put one definitely at the bottom of the uh, vertical stitched line and those stitch washi tapes are so good when you don't want to pull out your sewing machine um they basically disappear into the background and so all you see is the stitching i'm using a little bit of foam tape there behind these laser cuts buttons to pop them up so that they look more dimensional i'm just going to toss up whether i put the second one at the top or the second one over on the left hand side of the horizontal line but i go with the um, vertical top of the vertical line just to say too when it comes to putting down the grids and stuff you'll see that I used a t-square ruler at the start that makes it so easy to make sure that you're putting your items on square like attaching that washi tape in a square to the layout um, and I love my t-square ruler so that's just a 30 centimeter t-square ruler and it is done and now I'm going to share some photos with you sorry the color's a little bit off on these um, photos that I have on my phone but you can see all of the detail of this layout thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to sharing another layout with you again soon bye